Legend of Total War here with part 67 of my Mountain Blade Warband Anno Domini 1257 Let's Play campaign as Legend of the Conqueror. Alright, so we've just conquered a few settlements. I did call the banners, but I'm not sure if we should pursue this. I've got a few men, but what's this up here? Is that a Mongolian horde? Oh, God damn it, what an idiot. Let's go and help him. Just auto resolve it. Saved his ass. Problem is, I think these Mongolian hordes will just pop up all over the place regardless. Alright, I'm going to call off the campaign again. The, my lords need more time to rest. And we're going to make our way back to Italy. I need to go back to Rome. And administrate for a little while. What's this? Prisoner train? They can handle that. And then decide where next we're going to attack. So this belongs to Roman Empire. So the Byzantine Empire has been destroyed. Well, we sure do have a lot of territory. coming down to that point in the campaign where it's the, the strongest factions are now that are the only ones that have survived. It'll be a war between empires, which I don't have a problem with. I think I've got the largest empire now, but I'm not sure if I've got the most lords, which is a real measure of strength. I mean, I'm confident that if I went up against either the Ilkhanate or France that we would defeat them, but it would be difficult. Alright then, so we're here. Let's go to the castle. I need to solve whatever problems that we've got within the... Where's Lady Gintare? Ah, oh, shit, she's still not here. There's too many other lords here. I don't want to tell them to bugger off because I want to actually hire them. Alright then, so let me see. What am I going to do? Uh, okay, I know. First thing I want to do, just leave the city just for a moment. And I want to have a look at what things we have provocation on. I know we have provocation on the Ilkhanate. I'm not sure if I really want to go up against them, though. So, factions, Roman Empire, let's have a look. So, we're going on fighting with them. And so, they were recently provoked by us. We can declare war on the subjects of Scotland. The thing is, if I don't declare war on them... It's going to cause problems amongst my my people. Scotland is a is a di fair distance away as well. It's really not worth going up against. What I'll do is maybe threaten them with war, and see if that works. Okay, I want to send an emissary to where are they? Scotland. Okay, I want to send... Oh, God. Um, send... Alexander. I think he's got the most persuasion. I'm not too sure what to do. I, I need to find um, someone who I can... I need to find that woman so that she can bribe my lords so that I can uh, get them back under my control. There's too many of these other losers here. I'm going to have to tell them that I don't need them. They'll, they may eventually come back to me. So he's just joined the Ilkhanate. These guys might be devoted to me, but I need, to, I need these, some of these guys out of the house, basically. I can't hire any more lords until I solve my problems with, with some people. Is she here yet? No.
I don't need this person anyway. It doesn't like me. Alright, let's do them two at a time. They're all joining the Ilkarnate, which is bad. Then go back in there. Too many laws want a free handout. Sorry, no, I know he's devoted to me, but I just can't have it. Joining other factions. Can't do anything about it though. Can't risk some of my old lords defecting. I mean, most of these guys will come back eventually. I think. You can go. And you can go. So they've left. Where is she? She's still not here. Because you can only have so many people in the in the castle at any given time. Off you go. Off he goes. It's a shame seeing these guys go. But then again, I've got no shortage of lords that want to join me. And more will come. She's, there she is. Okay, good. Okay, improve my relations with how many lords? Oh, God. Okay, Podesta de Griffey, he's the worst of them. Okay, that's not too bad with him. Always costs an arm and a leg to bloody sort these guys out, but that's okay. It's worth it if we can maintain a stable empire. And after all, it's just money. Got no shortage of that. Cash. All right, just get him out of the treasury. Uh, nope, wrong person. Need to speak to the chamberlain. Give me. Oh god. I could do it this way. Oh, hang on. It's not that many. Just need to get them to zero. sort of them all out. Of course, problems will arise again once I hire more guys, but at least they won't defect. Oops, went too far over that one. This guy's a problem. He's always been a problem. But somebody's got to be a problem. You can't just have everyone be perfect. Having played, running a huge uh, tribe in Ark, I can tell you, you just, you get all sorts. And in a way, you need them all. Some people just want to have a nice tight nick um, tribe where everyone gets along, not me. I want to be supreme power. Oops. So it's just these last three here that are the worst. And they've always been the worst. Maybe if I got them to devoted, they wouldn't lose so much loyalty, um, but it's too much effort. 
See, I can't bribe them beyond a certain point. Okay, at least he's sorted with. And at the end of the day, it doesn't look like I'll be using up all of my money to sort this out. Last Lord. And once I've fixed them up, then there's no chance any of them are going to defect. Funny thing is, though, they should be paying me tax, not me constantly giving money out to them. But then again, I'm constantly sending them to war. Alright, so we're done here. We can hire some new lords. How much money do I have left? 45,000. So that's a decent amount. Okay, so pick someone who's devoted to me. What's his name again? Muzalon. I'm going to give you Kiev because I want you to look after it. I may have overlooked him already. There he is. Okay, and then there's all these problems with everyone else. And then we... Oh shit. We need to go to... Her again. And... Look at all these problems. But they're only, only small problems. See, that's already solved. Oops. Solved. So they all get solved pretty easily. And I can send them all gifts, but that just takes longer. And after all, I've got the money. And if I really need more money, I can go up to my manors and get the tax out of them. There should be quite a bit. Okay, so hiring that lord, how much did that cost us? It cost us pretty much 40,000. So it's 40,000 per lord, basically. Which is a lot. Might just uh, leave it at that. Give me some, give me some cash. How much we got? 170,000. Okay, I might actually take a bit more. Okay, who else are we going to hire? They have to be devoted to me, or else I'm not hiring them. Uh, Vukanovic, Stefan Vukanovic. You can have the Far East, so right. Vukanovic, where is he? Hang on, that's Dimitri. We need Stefan. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Back to here to solve all the problems with the lords. And if you think that giving these lords more fiefs is going to help, it doesn't. It, it's Once they've got one, that's really all they need to have. Alright, how much cash do we have now? 80,000. Okay, well we can still get another lord. Let's have a look here. I'm trying to go for someone whose name I can remember. Didn't already get you. Um, Theodorus Selos. I think these are all Byzantine guys, just looking at them. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay, I'll grab you. You're devoted. Good. I don't know why they're all devoted. What was his name again? Might have been a good idea if I remembered. Memory of a fucking goldfish. Pacellos. Or Pacellos. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's go Chernigo for you. I must have overlooked it. Where is he? And then we're going to go bribe all this stuff again. Now we probably could afford to get another lord and sort them all out, but I think this is enough for now. Let's just sort these guys out and then go back to war. Let's 
So, over the past month in this, I've, uh, I've, I've claimed another five or six lords, so that should help. Given enough time for them to gather their strength, and that'll really help. Alright, so now we're going to have to do something about the Ilkarnate as well, because we've got provocation against them. And I don't want to lose face in front of my, um, my subjects. Let me see your skills, Alexis. Persuasion 4. Who's got a lot of persuasion? Helge? No. Persuasion 6. Okay, we'll actually increase that further if you wouldn't mind. To 8. Okay, I need to send Helge on a um, persuasion mission to the Ilkarnate. It could be disastrous if it doesn't work. Dispatch an emissary to the Ilkarnate. Where are they? Threaten them with one, see what we can squeeze out of them, and send in Helg. And we'll see if that works in regard to provocations. Now, if everything goes badly, we'll find ourselves at war with three people on three fronts. These guys here, the Scottish, up here in the north, and more importantly, the Ilkarnate. We really, we really don't want to go to war with them, but we have to threaten them anyway. Sometimes you just need to go with it. What's this? It's got nothing to do with me. Oh, come on, you fucking piece of shit. I just sent... Ah, oh, piece of crap. Too bad I can't pull him back now. I need to go back to Gintara and sort these guys out. How much money have I got? 50,000. We'll see how much all this shit is going to cost us. That's 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27,000 that cost us. Can't be helped. Need to bribe them. Now the worst part is, we're still bloody threatening them with war. So if we do declare war on them, I don't, I don't uh, get the approval of these guys. So that was just really bad. Right, I'm going to head up to Venezia, pick up some soldiers, and we'll just go wherever to go fight. We're going to have to fight someone after all. Okay, so what do we need here? Volunteers, give me the lances. If I check their morale, morale's actually good because of recent events. What recent events? Well, whatever. So we've got more people trying to join us, but that's that's enough for now. Where should we go? Maybe I'll come up to Gdansk. It's not too far away. Right. Still no word from the others. Okay, let's call the campaign now. Because it's been a couple of days. Of course, you have to understand that it's going to take them a few days to get to me, but that's fine. Can't besiege Gdansk until we have more soldiers. It's just we just don't have enough yet. I feel like John Fitz Allen once was one of my troops, one of my lords that defected. Okay, here they come. Man, holy crap, Lord Dragomir. All right. 
Alright, this should be enough. Let's besiege. I'm sure more will come. Especially in 36 hours. But this should be enough to, to get things started. Okay, well, so it returned from the mission from the Ilkhanate. They send you a declaration of war. Oh, great. So we're at war with the Ilkhanate now, so that really backfired. I'll wait until tomorrow. Alright, let's do this. We need to hurry up and finish these guys off. Luckily, they're not really much of a threat now, and we need to go straight to the Ilkhanate. Yeah, so that, the timing of that was very bad. I mean, I'm still confident we can defeat the Ilkhanate, and they are closer to home than, than these guys. But I was hoping to take them on later, because they were actually friendly with us. Oh well, as a leader, sometimes you make poor decisions in hindsight, and there's nothing you can do about it but just accept the consequences and fucking kill your enemies. We'll show these Mongol dogs what the Romans can do. Killing a few of them. Okay, so what's the advantage? Never checked. Let's see what we're doing just to fight against these guys. I'm not taking any damage yet. Well, that's just good, I guess. Smashed them. Absolutely fucking destroyed them. Come on, get rid of him. Oh, took some damage there. But we're fine. The battle so far is going really well, so we've killed 70 of them, so we're about 15% through their, their forces. Now, this hasn't worked well in the past, but we're going to go around the back. We need to get to that kill zone, sometimes that kill zone is just fantastic. Javelins and crossbows and all those other losers. Fucking die. Fucking 
Good smash for them. Uh, we don't have the kill zone that I was looking for. That's alright. And I've already killed plenty of the enemy troops already. But of course I want to kill more. But I'm content with what I've done. That's all I'm trying to say. This is a decent kill zone as well. So we've lost less than a hundred and they've already lost half their forces. The kill ratio is like five to one at the moment. And I've still got half my health left. Slaughter on this one. They haven't, they're not touching us at all. guys just by themselves are doing a good job. The thing I like about this settlement is there's no glitched out areas, so even if I get knocked out and I don't get an auxiliary soldier, my guys will be able to finish it off without me intervening at all. few of them remaining. Well, actually, there's only seven of them remaining. We had almost made it through the whole battle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's only one of them left. Likely that there'll be a fight in, in the uh, streets. But we lost just over a hundred men. So we're nearly five to one kill ratio. I don't think we've ever seen something that that's successful, I guess. 
in this campaign. Oh crap, there's a lot of them in the street. Don't you shoot me with a fucking crossbow, bitch. Okay, they're coming from the rear. Shit, we're running out of soldiers. I don't know why they don't give us enough to bloody work with. How many is left? 18. I can't take on 18 by myself. As in, at the same time. So we need to carve these guys up a lot before we all get knocked out. Two guys left. Shit. I think that was absolute bullshit. That they they put us up against so many of them. God, that is absolutely fucking retarded. Alright, get those soldiers out of there. Just retarded. I mean, we had so many soldiers left over, they give us freaking 10 to deal with 50. Well, whatever. Game has to cheat, however, it feels like to win, but we still managed to get the city after that siege. So then, we'll end the video here, but before we do that, let's have a look with the. Um, the faction notes as to the deal with the Ilkhanate. So the Ilkhanate declared war to regain lost territory. <laughs> well, we never took any territory from them. Well, whatever. So we're now at war with the Ilkhanate. And we'll start from over here and work our way, I guess, through Greece and maybe into Anatolia. As for as for these guys, I'm quite happy to just fucking leave them alone now. If they want to take some settlements, well, whatever. The Ilkhanate is my real concern. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 68, I think, is next. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.